what we were told from witnesses, a car coming uh, what would be southbound on Lord on Lemoyne Ave, as he came through the light, kind of lost control and tried to overcome, he was trying to compensate for the wet conditions, hit the telephone pole, went through the pole, the, and then basically when he got to where the uh, pavement dropped to another level, flipped and ended up on its roof. I know you had to cut the person in the car. Can you yes. talk about what that was like and was it a difficult process? Yes, because the, the car was on its roof, stabilization becomes more of a uh, task, but we were able to stabilize the vehicle from four sides. We were able to, the, the patient was conscious at all times, and we were able to, by working with teams on both sides of the car, cut the car to a position where we were able to get them out safely. Does it seem like the patient's going to be okay? Uh, right now the patient's conscious. As far as injuries, we have no idea. The ambulance was, uh, got them quickly and had them and moved to the hospital. But are they stable at the moment? As far as I can, he was he was conscious. That's all I can tell you. Did did his car get tangled up with the wires? No, no. Basically, he was able when his car went through the pole, it cut the pole in half, and his car continued on. So there was no wire entanglement with the car at all, which was actually a help for us. Um, do you think, and maybe it's too early to know, if speed was a factor at all? Un undetermined. It was raining very hard at the time. It was very heavy rain here and stuff. So undetermined at this time.